Let's look at what happened in August Town. When we got there, residents were a perfect picture of confidence. As a nation braced for the impact of Hurricane Beryl early Wednesday. Now, when our news team visited, residents were optimistic about the storm. Others opted to check in and provide for the most vulnerable. Courtney Lewis was there. Despite the threat of impending hurricane burial, residents of the August Town area in East Rural St. Andrew are seemingly calm, asserting that if it must be, it must be. Not really prepare car, you don't know, you know, prior, prior the thing there, you see. Well, for me, if it come, it have to come. Nothing not really bother me. Just a praise after it gone, me have a life left. Meanwhile, one resident, Isolyn Adamson, recalled her previous hurricane experiences and opted to help other residents secure supplies amid Hurricane Barrel. We only have two help right now, the two hills. Mm -hmm. If you notice, we're between two hills, so that's only our help now. So we are trying to move around those who can make it, move around to help those who can't make it, you know, to make this thing. There's a church over there, that will be a shelter. Because as soon as the rain starts and who oh, cannot make it out there, we take them in the church. Well, I got some clear packages from the MP yesterday. So I'm trying now to give as much to where it can reach, especially to Golden Ages. But you know, they are shut ins and they can't help themselves. Nevertheless, some residents made last minute efforts to secure their roofs and assisted in getting each other to safety. But I just prepare, buy my little foods, my thin stuff and my, I button down for the storm. I buy um, my flashlights and my little stuff for that already, if, in case what, light and water gone. When CVM last interacted with residents, many were calm and confident about weathering the intense rains. Courtney Lewis for CVM News.